Hello guys, Susanna again. Um, I'm just here with a project that I have had on the back burners for a very long time, probably since I started doing um, uh, junk journaling. So um, I don't know overseas, but in Australia we get these little albums for our children for when they're going to kinder, um, kindergarten. And you get the photos and everything you put in there. And I've done one for my oldest son, Jordan. And I got the inspiration um, when I first started watching Wendy's Journal Adventures um, using up your old cards. And I sort of, um, so if you use big cards and you can turn these, because they're quite thick cardboard, and you can turn them into, I think, the little booklets that she wanted to do. But I thought I just went a little bit um step extra and using old these pixie photos this is from my husband i think that's what i ended up using for here as well um the old pixie photos back in the you know the 70s and 80s and even up until the 90s so i want to use this as the booklet so i'm going to take that out and just probably just turf that don't need that okay um and i'll show you what i'm going to be doing Hopefully I'll have to do the sewing after um, my machine comes back. So Geordie is my oldest son and that's preschool days. And then for Lachlan, I've got kindy days because that's what I had. Um, and then just a little tuck spot in here. Um, I might put some of his, I still haven't put, you know, I've got to look for some kinder artwork and everything that I'm going to put in there. Um, and I've done some stenciling along here. And this is actually my little, I've got a, um, a PDF with this is my artwork and I was hoping to get that up and running. Um, I've got different characters, farm animals, Christmas ones, and then this one, and I think Woodlands as well. So I still want to get that PDF out, but I've got to get photos of it and I need to, need to set it up properly. So um, they're just little drawings that I've, I've done. I'm on the tuck spot in here. Isn't he gorgeous? It's so cute. This is my 21 year old now. So, so cute. So preschool. I need another little tuck spot. That's another one of my little drawings that I have done, like little little characters. So, um, is that a tuck spot? No, I think that's just being placed down there. ABCs. So, I'll be getting out stenciling and all that kind of stuff. So, it might be a bit of a, a, um, a long process video it's a bit like scrapbooking except for you've got your own journal so there'll be these these are for bits and pieces that i've put in there might even get you know some of his friends for kindergarten and then i think that's the last one and then this is some of his, his artwork that he has from kindergarten so cute i actually remember that day we went to the farm with him so so cute now he's 21 so I think I made this probably in 2018, early 2018, a couple of years ago. It's been sitting there. <laughs> so I thought, okay, I'll have this as a, to show you what I'm going to be doing. And then this is how to use up old, you know, old cards. Like this is a nice big card, but because I've got this pixie photo one, I've got a couple of those. So I might just be making even just thick cardboard like that. So got these to pick and then I can get rid of these um, you know I could probably use these to, to hold some ephemera actually but I just thought I just wanted something a little bit more special for the boys okay so we'll make a start I've got a few bits and pieces out here this is my little lucky man it's my youngest son he's going to be 17 soon isn't he cute my little boy he looks um the most like me my oldest son looks like my husband and Lachlan looks like me so um I don't know what the policy is on having pictures up but um that doesn't matter it's for my own personal use um okay so what I want to do is pick some paper from the outside of it and here I've got Lockie's Kinder Days and bits and pieces that I've picked. Here is the four um, 
these are uh, thicker paper which I did ages ago um, which I used brushos and then sprayed it on and it's turned out beautiful so yeah this is how long ago I did it it was actually thicker um, paper so I've just got four of them they just turned out so beautiful and so I've got four for um, my youngest son and four for my oldest son so I will get out some of these I've got some ABCs and then maybe some that um, I'm still you guys I've got some I like doing a few bit of stenciling um, I might even pause it while I find some stencils okay back again got out all my stencils over here and I've got some stamps and all that kind of stuff um, I've got that one I think that's really cute Julie Nutt and um, cling stamps now I just need to find my um, oh, where are they? these are little things for the stamps but I'll grab them as I need so we'll start we'll start with um, okay, just leave it in the way. we've just got to have everything ready um what I'm going to use for here and I quite like this paper this is an old one graphics 45 and I'm gonna have um it's got Geordie's so I'm gonna have something I really like this one but um I might put some of this on the actual like on the side or whatever so I've got going to be in the browns and this is in the blues like his kinder day so I need to find something that's going to be a combination between that isn't that gorgeous really do like like graphic 45 it's so cute maybe we could probably get some of that almost the right size but not quite in about the back of that no No. That hurts your eyes, doesn't it? Oh, I wanted it to be a little bit more kid friendly. Well, I've got that on here, so I don't think I'm going to use that. So I might like to use that and that helps this to stand out. Maybe something darker is better. Well, that hurts your eyes, doesn't it? One ten. I'm reckoning some of these might go with it. And it'll wrap right around. I won't have to worry about cutting it in half. That's nice. Because I quite like that little picture. Sorry guys, should have had this picked out before I started. Now that is quite nice actually. Here we go. Now get out the cutter. How big is this? Oh, that's going to be pretty much the full size, eh? Which I think I will do, and then on the end there I'm going to put, um, what's the width? 
it in half. And a half, I'll just go a little bit over, always better to go over. No, definitely stick to eight and a half. These I'll probably end up using on the inside, which is what I've done with that. So I'll put that away for now. Okay, now I'm going to use some of these. my start of using what I have. Got plenty of papers. Determined not to use any more than I have to. Actually I'm not even It'll fit in it a lot better. There we go. Okay. Papers everywhere. Mess everywhere. There we go. Push all of that up. Because I need to be able to see this. There we go. To see that I am above the height. Okay. What's the best glue? Probably glue stick. Because I am going to um, Oh look, I won't worry about it. Right, who says we need to ink anything? I think my other my other ones my other son's one hasn't been inked. So Great way to do a personal project, um, and this isn't even a good way to do um, like a scrapbooking, like a grandma's brag book. If you haven't got the kinder photos, just a nice little brag book, something you can hand on to an auntie, or um, it's incorporating a little bit of scrapbooking in with journaling. So, um, just something a little different and using up old cards which is really good because not everyone's got one of those pixie photo things but everyone's got old birthday cards all I did was take the center off in between yep now, uh, this way might just make sure that it's lined up on there and the rest will just follow in. Come on. Keep it going. Is it crooked as a dog's hind leg, eh? Good to me. Okay. 
And if you want to ink that, you can. It might be a tad tall on there, which is very annoying. Me being this is perfectionist. Um, have to have to do this. Just so it looks evenish. Okay. There we go. Okay, by the time you I sew that down, which I will. Once my sewing machine gets up and running, this is probably the point where you would sew. Actually, um, this is where we use these bits to make little pockets for either side. So, fold that in half. Actually, don't mind a little bit of that green. Either side. Like that. And I think it's probably a tad long. Have a look how big. Yep. So just a smidge. Maybe up to that line. There we go. Straighten it up on there. Oops, I thought it'd be nice to keep that. Oh, I hope. I think I forgot to turn the sound down. Sorry, guys. I think it's that one. Oop, a bit too big. That one. There we go. I'll keep these, you never know what you want them for. Now, these I probably will ink. Now, I'm not going to put anything on the back because I don't mind that colour. I think that's okay. It's only fairly simple. might be a bit of a series now I do this or oh, I can make a start on it and then work on it later I might just ink at the edge of that anyway now there's my big linker there we go okay now on the top of that was some nice little these ones. Are they going to be incorporated in here or in the front and back? Quite like those. Um, I think I'll do it in the front and back. Hmm, if I'm going to be sewing around these, I better glue it. So you've got to really think before you do stuff. Because sewing machines do not like double-sided tape. Oh, grief. Which I will do later. Still in camera. I'll put a bit more towards the edge. This is where the pages are going to go. Whereas on glue, the sewing machine will go through that once it's dried. I even put it through wet sometimes and a bit naughty. Now 
the reason why I've kept this is it matches quite nicely with the that paper. So, oop, there we go. Okay, that's rather cute. And then I'll get. Uh, this on the top with the lead and get out all your cute little kitty pictures nice and bright and colorful Oop, ga -ding. I'll put that one on there and then I can use this one for something else Um, how wide is that? There. a bit and then I'll take off that and what is this just past the the bear in between the bear and the, the fishy. You can keep that. Yeah, I knew that I'd have to have a little bit off that. Tiny bit off his tail. It's okay. Okay, now. Do the inside and the cover at this point. Nothing too exciting, but okay. So get out all your cute little kitty stuff, which is just as nice when you're doing something for um, a nana or an auntie when you do kid pictures typical Susanna everything falls everywhere to decorate the front a little bit more. Oh, gee, I hate the way that it does that. So annoying. Glue stick is great when it works well. And it doesn't matter if this is smaller because this is at the front and you've got all the book pages in between, so that's fine. Now, um, okay, so I want to do this, but I'd like to do it a little different. This is where the, where the pages are going to go. Okay. And you see, sometimes when you've got this sort of stuff in there, it proves to be a little bit on the difficult side. There we go. Now, okay. Which was one of the ones that I wanted to put in? How cute is that? Actually, I think that would make a really good tuck spot. Where was one of those pictures? 
this one. do this with your cutter but just because it has a tiny little bit of white edging on there I'm going to do that now I'm going to have that there and I quite like this too Front. I might put that on the back. See, I've evolved in my in the time of doing it. I'm a bit more of a vintagey style now. I was just saying to my husband, it drives me nuts the way that I um, constantly drop my stuff. <laughs> okay, because I'm always in forever in a hurry. I'm trying to look for where it says Lockie's the kinder. Where's the kinder thing? Can you see it, guys? Just yell out if you see it. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, hubby's bringing in a cup of tea. Got to make room for it. Thank you. Back again. <gasps> Found it. And my husband. They bought me in a nice cuppa, which is good. I love a cup of tea. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'll link that as well quickly, just to take off the white edge. Now, I quite like, quite like that. That's how it's going to be going. Definitely needs to be inked. Ooh. It's going to be pretty squished. There we go. Oop. So this is definitely going to have to go on the back. Unless I just put two here. And two there. What do you think? Um, I think this one doesn't stand out enough. Uh, you're lucky in hindsight you do things a little bit different. I wonder if it needs something else underneath it. But I think it's okay. thinking of putting that down here either at the start or the finish yep. okay now that needs to stay down because it's going to drive me nuts what have we got that's a bit on the heavier side where are we okay. 
I should put a, a really light line. Okay. Um, we'll just have it sitting on the wall. That'll hold it down. And put it straight. There we go. tried that before and it actually looks pretty good so what I might do is I should just put down some and then pause it because you'll have the idea of what I'm going to do these are just little wooden um, little wooden trinkets that I got and you use craft glue or fly, flies are fixed definitely for this because it's wood And I've got to have it over as close as I can get it. Maybe a little bit lower. There we go. Got to double check that it's all going to fit. Yep. Cool. So. That gives it a bit of a grungy look, I think. There we go. So, I'll, um, just for the sake of time, maybe pause it. And put these on. I'll be back. Okay back again just finishing up so I've got that posted and put down so now I think this has got a sticker on there but I'll make sure it stays on with some glue and put it on like the first time so here we've got the glue it actually has I'm going to leave that. I'll leave that for on the inside. I'll use that on one of the other ones. I think that's fine. But I'll pre-glue, pre-ink um, these. The S actually fell apart. I don't know where I got these. I've had these for ages. I think I might have got them from Spotlight or somewhere but you can get um these type of little letters wooden letters from um Hazar craft i think okay and this will be the end of part one and then i'll have part two okay rather cute I'm going to ink around the outside too I'm gonna to have to because my sewing machine's not working um, so the signatures in which is pretty easy because there's only four four pieces get rid of the spiders webs you may not be able to see them but they are there you can use these over the tad so it's sticking sticking down there we go cute I like that so far just make sure that it's sitting straight and then I'll ink the outside of that there we go does make a difference how cute is that so that's the cover and also on the inside as well and in the next one I'm gonna in between I'll, I'll hop off camera and actually will actually I'll ink on there as well 
um, off camera I'm just going to do a um, just sewing the signatures with a three hole pamphlet stitch or something like that which will be fine and then in the next episode I will um, I'll be back to um, start decorating the pages okay guys I'll see you later thanks for watching bye